eating food is definitely one thing that we all have in common. One, two, three. Here's how I do ribs. After experimenting many different ways and trying to get secrets from blue ribbon winners in rib fest cook-offs. <laughs> It's real easy to do in the Midwest United States. We're talking about St. Louis baby backed ribs. What we did is we got two big pieces of aluminum because we have two set, two ribs. More, 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 more. Okay. Use a brush to slather it. Slathering, slathering is like painting, except you're supposed to be messy. You're supposed to gob it on and, and just... Uh, <laughs> Look up! The dog wants to see what we're doing. But the dog likes She loves ribs too. Just wrap this and sort of roll it up like a burrito. Um, and just twist over the edges. So that's one. tin foil I think just helps them cook better at least for me 350 for about an hour I'm gonna turn it though every 15 minutes I'm gonna just flip them over back and forth back and forth oh my cooking is such hard work you got the accent chew it the positive be you live my name the negative black jaw to the affirmative, don't mess with Mr. In Between. You gotta spread joy up to the maximum, bring blue down to the minimum, have faith, or pandemonium liable to walk upon the scene. To illustrate my last remark, Joel in the way. What did it do just when everything looks so dark? Man, they said we better accent or eat the positive. Do you remember the first time you ate ribs? Got to accent and check, we ate the positive, and he's in the name, and he ate the negative, and that's not right, but it's on to the affirmative, and don't mess with Mr. In Between. Mm, these are great. Don't mess with Mr. In Between. No, don't mess with Mr. In Between. No, don't mess with Mr. In Between.